Hello to my dear subscriber and to those of you who have stumbled upon this video. About nine months ago, I did an introduction video on why I choose to buy this Yamaha RX 2A 2A. So today I'm gonna let you know what I find out uh, about uh, this uh, receiver in these nine months. So uh, some of you may ask why it takes so such a long time. I feel that if you spend uh, two months or three months and, and you use this uh, M every day, then you get to know about the function and you're very good at uh, controlling uh, and, and uh, doing the calibration. So in these nine months, I have spent a lot of time listening to movies, uh, watching movies. And some of the movies, um, um, I watched them about five or six times. So that just to uh, go to the certain parts where I uh, really go and listen to the details and some of the uh, harder to, to listen uh, sound. After that, I proceeded to listen to music in two channels. Uh, that's in the straight mode on this uh, Yamaha, the DSP straight mode. Um, I skipped this uh, pure direct totally. Uh, I explained to you why I skipped the pure direct. So uh, that's first thing I want to talk about is this uh, white power. I see a lot of comments, right? Uh, whether from my own uh, YouTube video or from others' video about this uh, RX A two A, is that after calibration, you find that the volume actually drops a lot. And this is not just exclusive to the Yamaha Y Power system. If you own a uh, Denon or the Marans, um, which I own one, uh, Denon uh, AVR three eight zero five, that's using the Odyssey. The same thing. After you calibrate, right? After you calibrated it, the volume will drop. But this is actually normal because the computer, the processor is taking into account the refraction and the rever reverberation of your room. So um, <clears throat> in order to, to counter those uh, uh, effects, right, they do <clears throat> will adjust the frequency and then that's why you will feel that oh, the volume actually dropped. But all you need to do is just to increase the volume, right? Um, the biggest difference between uh, the listening to this uh, amplifier with the, uh, in the equalizer of the white power, which I li usually listen in the flat mode, right? Um, versus uh, uh, turning it off is the sound pending, power, sound pending and then the how the sound move from speaker to speaker whether is it from the front to the rear or from the rear to the ceiling, the high speaker it is a... Uh, I, sorry I can't uh, describe it better um, um, it's very seamless and it's very natural Right, um, later when I go into the individual movie-based review, I will let you know Okay, more details. So uh, if you um, calibrated it and find that the volume drops, that's uh, perfectly normal, right? And then um, my favorite DSP mode uh, in this uh, uh, Yamaha is uh, for watching movie, it will be the uh, adventure or the science fiction. These are the, the two the mode that I use the most. And uh, if you were to use, um, if you can go and try, you can use the adventure or the uh, science fiction. You hear much, much more details, right, than the normal uh, Dolby Atmos or the DTS. <clears throat> I haven't actually experienced the DTS X because I do not have a, a Blu ray player. I was watching through the um, Disney Plus and through the soft copies. Um, with that uh, activated, this. Uh, science fiction or the adventure uh, activated you you feel that um, you really feel the movie you feel that the sound actually um, uh, really uh, is one body with the motion with the movement inside the on, on the screen right uh, without that I feel that there's a little bit of disengagement and uh, you don't feel the full power of this uh, uh, AV receiver right so um, for I think I better use a uh, actual movie right that I have watched a few times uh, to do a mini review on that. So the first movie is the Equalizer. Uh, why the Equalizer? Um, because when the first time I watched the Equalizer, the part one, uh, I was using my old Denon uh, AVR three eight zero five. That was a, a non Atmos uh, receiver. Um, I was listening to the DTS and the Dolby Digital version. And during the time, um, I was very impressed uh, with the <coughs> uh, this part where the Denzel Washington was was uh, walking this uh, Alina uh, back home. Then uh, halfway through, you know, the boss, the mafia boss, the Russian uh, boss, right, came to pick her up, uh, slap her, and then force her into the car. 
So when the car leave, you can the camera start to pan to the Denzel Washington. You don't see the car turning, but you hear the car going one round. I can feel that. I can feel the engine of the car, you know, getting nearer to you because when they drive behind you, it get nearer to you, then get further away. So during the then I can feel I can really feel the bass. But for for this Yamaha, I can feel the sense of space are uh, much uh, better. It's like uh, the car is slightly further. Um, but however, because uh, this time I didn't, I was using the satellite speaker for my rear speaker. For my previous Denon, I was using a full size uh, Mission bookshelf speaker. So I can really feel the, the bass, okay? But for this, uh, I, I didn't really feel it. So because of the, the small uh, bow speaker. But the sense of the, the displacement, right, is much greater. Um, much more space, much more uh, distance, okay? And then come to the part where the ending part when the sprinkler, right? The I think they they fire some shot. Then the sprinkler activated. That was the sound of very very immersive. It's like really having a rain inside my uh, living room. And the part where you know uh, I think Denzel Washington was pouring some sand or something onto the onto the floor, and these are uh, bad guys you know, stumble upon it and start stepping on on the, the, the sand. Right, that's the part where. It gets very very eerie. Like someone uh in my kitchen has spilled uh, uh maybe a cup of rice or, or or something a bean right, right and especially the ending part where the Denzel Washington shoot this uh stapler the construction stapler, <coughs> into this uh bad guy the the Russian uh the killer right, well that was very very good. You can feel this stapler <laughs> go inside the flesh right plunge into the flesh, so that is for the equalizer. The next movie, um, I believe uh, most of you have you will be using it to test your system. Uh, it's not a new movie. It's the Brad Pitt's uh, Fury, where uh, tells the story of this uh, Sherman tank crew uh, fighting against the mighty German Tiger tank. Um, what I'm most impressed with this Yamaha is uh, when you listen to the part where they show what's happening inside the tank, right? How the Sherman crew struggle. You know, especially with this this guy, he was very reluctant to to fire. You know, when you listen into this part, right, you pay attention to the part where to the sound where the German machine gun hitting the exterior of the tank, the armor of the tank. At the moment, I hear a lot of sound, right? Uh, uh king kang, king kang. You know, the ricocheting, uh, 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 the Buddha hitting the the armor and the ricocheting. I also feel a sense of uh claustrophobic. Because you can feel when you when you hear the the bullet hitting the the tank, you can hear you can feel that the the cramness of the of the tank the interior of the tank, um, that is um uh, a a good receiver and a good sound processing will, will bring that kind of feeling, and the next movie um I think you might have known that uh it received a, a, a I think Academy Award for the the sound design. That is the Ford versus Ferrari. I have been putting off to watch this movie for a long time, right? This is not uh, really uh, the latest movie. But um, when I watch it on Disney Plus, uh, I understand that in Disney Plus, right, the sound, although in Dolby Atmos, uh, um, their maximum is only at uh, 48 kilohertz. So it's not the super high res 96 kilohertz, right? Um, if you want to test your system and your speaker, right, or subwoofer, you just you if you want to do a quick test you skip to the part of the daytona race right the daytona race because there's a of course uh, you hear the engine raving and then you hear the car hitting each other and those are crashing and the burning of the tire right when they press on the brake you know and then the part where uh daytona is a long race when they get out of the car you know the slamming of the the uh, the door and the dialogue, even in this chaos, right, you can hear the dialogue super, super clear. And then um, the when the car moves from uh, the left to the right or the camera moves to the front or to the back, that's a very good testing for your front and the rear speaker and then uh, for your ceiling height. I can't tell you which part will have the more sound on the ceiling height, but I think we shouldn't be too bothered about uh, the sound come from where or during which time 
because the whole thing must work holistically uh, to let you enjoy to, to give you a feel that oh right you're, you're, you're almost like you've been there next I want to talk about this movie um, the Infinity War um, that's the Marvel superhero movie um, Infinity War um, I was quite disappointed with the ending part not about the, the story not about the fighting you know but with the sound effects uh. um, I, I'm not sure what kind of effect you get with your AV receiver you may be using a Pioneer uh, a, a Marans or a Sony right um, but with my Denon the previous Denon listening in Dolby Atmos in DTS and then with this uh, Yamaha listening in uh, Dolby Atmos to the this uh, Disney Plus I, I find that uh, you know the ending part where they assemble uh, a lot of them you know it's like the final battle the grand battle I, I find that it, it feels like there's a lot of things going on there's a lot of chaos going on right uh, a lot of fighting right uh, a lot of weapons uh, some laser weapon and some they just use a, a, a sword or knife right a spear or axe to fight but on the screen you see so many things going on but the sound just don't reflect that the sound just don't give you the sense of uh, the chaos don't sense of uh, uh, the urgency the the fighting you know the the cruelty the violence the sound don't don't reflect doesn't reflect that um it's like going to a one hundred dollar or hundred and fifty dollar buffet lunch right uh, all you can eat but when you go into the restaurant you see so many food there Alaskan crab you know there are puddings there are all sorts of ham cheese right uh, turkey chicken duck oyster and they tell you all you can eat but the moment you go to the table and you start getting a piece of the ham there's a security guard standing there say oh buddy go easy on that oh that's enough one piece is enough Although there's so many food, all you can eat, but when you get one piece, one piece, and they, they tell the stop. So I feel that, um, no, maybe, maybe this Yamaha didn't do well for that movie, but uh, with the Denon, it's still the same, you know. Um, it's like, uh, the sound designer, they have this quota, like right? there's someone, there's a supervisor standing behind them, although you don't use so many sound. Well, that's enough, you know. <laughs> so I... I I don't know, um, maybe you share with me your experience, what you find about this movie, but I was a bit disappointed with that, okay? For music listening, I was uh, feeding, uh, listening to the CD, I fed it uh, through a pair of RCA cable, and also compared it with uh, the coaxial cable through the digital out. So when using the digital, uh, the deck, the DAC on the Mara, on this uh, Yamaha itself, uh, compared to the DAC on the CD player, the Marans, right? Uh, the Marans give much clearer sound, right? Compared to the DAC inside this uh, Yamaha. Um, then I uh, compared this Yamaha with the previous uh, stereo M I have with two stereo M that I have, <coughs> the Marans uh, PM six zero zero six and the Roxanne K three. They are both integrated stereo M. Um, <clears throat> for the Marans, right, I find that this Yamaha can perform about maybe 50% of the, the Marans. The Marans was much uh, in two channel, right, of course the Marans is two channel, but in this two channel compared to that two channel, the Marans was much more spacious and uh, much higher resolution and uh, uh, much clearer, better clarity. So this is about 50%. Um, but when you compare to the British M, the uh, Roxanne K3, um, the vocals of the K3 um, is much sweeter and give a warmer sound. Um, I was telling you why I didn't even use the pure direct mode. Alright, you have to understand that this is a AVR. Um, AVR is designed to for you to enjoy a movie and they come with a lot of well, uh, bells and whistles. Like it is uh, the DTS, the Dolby Atmos and all the DSP. And do you know that uh, just to have the DTS, Dolby Atmos, and the all the other uh, 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 licensing, right? You need you need to pay for the licensing. So the cost of making this uh, receiver doesn't go all to the components. You need to pay for licensing, right? So um, in order to enjoy music, 
you need to activate some of the DSP or you need to play with the tone control or the equalizer um, in order to get a good sound. If you take away all those and you just depend on the component itself, it's not definitely not sufficient. All right, compared to the integrated uh, amplifier, they don't pay for those uh, uh, licensing and whatever the cost price they have, the, the manufacturing cost, most of them will go into the component. Let's say they, they will go to a better uh, transformer, a uh, better capacitor, and of course uh, they have a much, much simpler circuit right for the signal path. And one thing I need to mention is, um, do you know this cable? This is the uh, FM uh, receiver antenna. I compare the FM performance in this uh, receiver versus a standalone uh, Cambridge Audio Tuner. Yes, I'm still listening to FM radio. The FM receiving sensitivity, the power of this uh, RSA2A, it's, this is much more sensitive, uh, can lock on the signal much better than the standalone Cambridge Audio Tuner. All right. You know this cable, I can just throw them on the floor and bury them between, uh, among those uh, speaker cable, you know, the surround speaker or this ca speaker cable, and it still receive good signal, right? Um, <clears throat> but with that, uh, Cambridge Audio is very, very sensitive. You, I really, really had to find ways to to uh, uh, adjust the, the antenna. Now, of course, have another set of antenna. Actually, I actually bought a three meter long antenna. And it's so difficult to get the right position for to get the signal from my favorite station. And sometimes you can get this uh, good signal for this station, but the other station you can't get it. Of course, when you do get the good signal from that Cambridge Audio, the sound is much crisper, much more high resolution than this Yamaha. So um, do I like it? Yes, I like it, but will I sell it to get a better one? Yes, you bet I will. Um, I might sell it uh, in the future, but then I will buy back another Yamaha, but on the higher tier. Uh, because, as you know, the DSP is second to none. You can't find this kind of DSP in all other brands. And since you have come and watched this video for so long, listening to me, uh, talking to myself for so long, uh, maybe you can consider subscribing if you have not done it so, and then uh, click the little bell. And uh, I wish you uh, happy, the rest of the year. All right, and uh, see you.